Rosie Bird, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. Today, we are heading into a new level. This time, it is going to be down here, the Soggy Swamp. So it looks like we're going to the swamp biome this time. Very cool to see. And it looks like, you know, there's still four missions here in total to go to. We could go to basically anyone we want to, but I'm trying to follow some kind of order. Of course, we've already explored three levels. Let's try this fourth one now. Um, so we have Soggy Swamp that can be chosen at different difficulties. Um, the recommended power is 10 for uh, default 3, and we are power 10. I figured that, you know, I could try to do every difficulty, but I might just get mindlessly easy if we just do, you know, this one all the time. So I might just do whatever one we match up with so that we get an appropriate challenge. Um, and we also get gear that is sort of more relevant to our level. If we really wanted the challenge, we could do default four, which is power 16. But that seems like a bit more of a risk. And there's so many different artifacts and uh, gear drop we have yet to find that we could get here. So that is really exciting. So let's get started. So we're heading to Soggy Swamp now. There's a bunch of witches and slimes. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Ooh. A coven of wicked witches live at the heart of the sinister swamp. They conjure up all manner of brews to empower the arch illager and his ever-growing army. If you don't find and defeat those witches, the illagers will be unstoppable. But tread carefully. The swamp is home to many horrors. Oh my. Okay, well then we'll do what we can just to be careful and to explore. Seems scary. The witches are tough in Minecraft. I can only imagine they're tough here. Oh, I love her little boat. That's cool. So like, as you can see, this is where it gets interesting. There's like little spots of land that I have no way to get to. Maybe there's a way to get to them I'm just not aware of right now, but I don't think I can swim in this water. Not looking like it. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, we got some skeletons down this way. You do have to be careful of all this. Oh, everybody is tough already, I can tell. But we do have our little wolf friend. We got this at the end of the last episode. Oh, and there's baby zombies. But the wolf is certainly gonna be helpful, I would think. Is he attacking? Oh, he's going for it. Oh, that makes me so proud. Cool. So we got all sorts of cool gear in the last episode. We figured a lot more out about the game, so definitely. I hope you're watching all the episodes in order. It definitely is worth it. Okay. Nice. Music here is pretty interesting too. So we do have no secrets, but there are six chests. Hmm, I don't know if I buy that, because last time it said there were three secrets and like, you know, 10 chests, but then the number just kept going up and up and up. We only found 18 out of the 19 chests by the end of it. But who knows, maybe this time it'll be a little bit different. Going back down this way, there's two ways to go, we'll go this way for right now. Maybe at some point we can get a boat and ride around and we can get off to those farther off part, parts. But it might just be that these are for show. That'd be really weird though, because then you can't get like full map completion. What is that noise? I hear some gurgling. Don't know if I like that. And toss the sound that way. Uh, Won't quite get the zombie, but it did get this guy a good chunk. Anything down here? Nope. So our wolf does have some health that we have to keep in mind. Don't want that getting too low. But let's also go this way. I'm still going to try to get as close to 100% of all of the mobs defeated as I can. Still can't go in the water. Hmm. Okay, that seems to be about it for now. <clears throat> so, we're just trying to find a perilous potion, apparently. Oh, here's our first witch, and they are actually healing themselves up. They sort of just wobble around a little bit. Creepy. Okay, so now we're at like a bit of a camp now. Ooh, that was good. And I'm trying to make the most of my arrows. I don't have a ton of them. Help me out here, wolf friend. Oh boy. But this is exactly what I was hoping for in the last episode is that at some point we would get some kind of familiar friend. And that's exactly what we got this time. Oh, he's sad. Okay, so what about this way? Not much. I love how ambient this game is. It doesn't really seem to have like a main soundtrack as much as it has like ambient music. And that's definitely a lot different. Okay. But honestly, I'm just so happy because this game is everything I had hoped it would be so far. It's been knocking out of the park for me. So what about down there, once again? There's gotta be a way we can get that stuff like maybe once we return. If we ever return to these levels with new abilities, I'm sure that'll help. Destroy the bruise. I'll do what I can. 
I only got rid of one enemy. Not really the best. Keep slicing and dicing. And we get a level up, we are now level seven. And why is the experience, okay. For a second, the experience bar was like full. I thought though, like is level seven the max level? I'd be a little disappointed. I feel like we just got here. Okay. Oh, our wolf is taking some damage. I don't know what happens when he runs out of health. If he's just gonna be out of commission for a bit or something. Oh, we got some slimes coming in too. Gotta be careful of that. Uh, oh, look at all the enemies up there. Grab that and run. Or throw it and run. Oh, and I definitely had to get rid of a good couple of them. Wow. <laughs> There's still so many enemies around. Just trying to do what I can about them. Oh, did you heal yourself immediately? Crazy. There is so much going on now. I'm just trying to focus on the enemies. Because that seems like the best bet. Oh, another TNT. I'll throw that at the witch. Oh, there's some illagers here and they're fighting me. I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful. No, 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 no. Whoa. Let's try to take things slow for a second. I'm as low as it gets on health. If I get hit like one more time, I'm done for it. I don't know what happened to our wolf. Okay, so I guess he did get taken out. Whoa, you tried to throw something at me there. There's our potion, now we're back up to full. So things are getting properly difficult now. And that's super exciting, but also super scary. So yeah, I think I wanna keep with everything I have right now. Of course, like I said, last episode we got some cool stuff, but not all of it is necessary right now. We just wanna keep with what's gonna work. Break that open, get a couple of emeralds out of it. Oh, hello. See, so yeah, we're not one hit takedown with the creepers anymore. <laughs> Things like that. Okay, got that. Let's make sure we get you. Now, the slimes are a bit tough because they split into so many smaller slimes. You just gotta be able to manage that. And you, get out of here. And that's all of them destroyed. Very nice, and it seems like we found everything along the way. So what's going on this way? Uh, plenty of enemies. Oh, the, the, the big shot there, the five shot. Cool. So that is where we normally go, but is there anything else I can do? Once again, not really looking like it. So we're going into a cave. Oh, I guess this may be just farther into the swamp more than it is a cave. It might be a cave, hard to tell. <laughs> but I definitely like our little wolf friend. Very helpful, what is going on? Enderman, Enderman's coming in, what? Okay, I gotta be ready for this then. I'm scared. Oh, there's a little pig too. Let's get the pig, ah, Enderman. Um, quickly, let's get the pig before that disappears, because I don't know if it's like other games, but sometimes there are enemies that will have chests that disappear in some games that are similar to this. I don't like the Enderman. Um, here he is. Oh, hit him with the fireworks. That might not be enough, though. I got a swing. Oh my gosh, this is scary. Where did he go? His health bar's gone. Oh, there he is, there he is. Come on, quickly. Dodge out. I tried to, at the least. Come on, get him. Whoa, we got him. Wow, that was cool, but also horrifying. My gosh. And we still don't get a chest out of the one pig that we took out. That doesn't make no sense. All right. That was something else, wasn't it? Battling an Enderman out of nowhere as a full health bar. I guess it might be like our first boss in the game. I mean, I guess, technically. Anyways, our poor little wolf isn't doing so well. But luckily, he does come back later. If he does get taken out, here we go. First chest. Got some good stuff out of that. We have five more to find, maybe. But in the meantime, uh, I do have one point. I probably want to dedicate to something. Let's upgrade. We're gonna have to do electric electrified uh, thorns or a cycler. I'm thinking thorns, unless we want to. No, I think I think this 100% of damage returned sounds good to me. Sounds really good actually. So we'll try that out. See how it goes. Because we've been taking a lot more damage this level, so I definitely. I think it, it's it's a bit more worth it to pursue. Okay. And this, oh yeah, this is where we started, so don't need to worry about going that way. I already got that covered. Oh, there's a chest for us. Get out of here. There you go. And this is also a dead end. With not much waiting for me. So what I'm curious about is like, where is that? Is this the one spot? Yep, okay, it is. Hmm, interesting. Back over this way, though. I know for a fact, because we already saw it, that there is a chest right here. And it's a pretty easy one, just chilling out. Whoa, a hunting bow. That's new. 
Not quite enough damage for to compare to uh, what we currently have. I think. Yeah, 21. Well, this is 19 to 48. So, like, obviously the 14 and the 12, um, they're not their damage as much as, there's, like, the general skill rating, I guess. Uh, 1948 damage, pets attack targeted mobs. This enchanted bow strengthens the bond between the hunter and their animal companion. So it has better speed but lower power than what we currently have. And maybe that's worth considering seeing how we do have the wolf out. Cool. Um, and what does it have? It has punch, boosts, arrows, pushback, and then also radiant shot. Has a 20% chance to spawn a circular area that heals allies with it. Definitely worth considering if we want to continue with a build that has um, a wolf. Which I certainly do. Or at least some kind of companion. Right now, if that's this, then that's great. It will do less damage, though, so we do have to be aware of that. It still takes out smaller zombies and skeletons and stuff out in one hit, though. So I think we can certainly work with it. A little bridge across here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so that'll once again tell the wolf who to attack. Doesn't really matter much for you know situations like this where there aren't too many enemies to begin with. Oh wait, so I could have gone up there? No, maybe? Maybe that's just like something I, I can see but can't reach, yeah. More of an aesthetic thing. But there there's still maybe more. Yeah, what's under here then? I'm so confused. I guess it all leads to the same spot. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So now we're getting a little bit vertical with everything, which is cool, but also a bit complicated. I was hoping that would maybe split you up, but I guess not. Oh, got some arrows out of that. We're up 135 now. So you can see who the uh, wolf is focusing on. Whoa, Grave Bane. That's unique. Wow, so you picked up the Grave Bane. Let's take a look at that. Whoa, 20 damage, so way better than, well 20, remember 20 skill rating. It is better than my Diamond Sword. Grave Bane, 42 to 62 melee damage, extra damage to undead, longer melee reach. A relic from Ages of Darkness. This glaive radiates potent magical energy to ward off the undead. So I certainly want that, and I think with that being said, we are also going to salvage this so I can get my points back. It has three points in it. This is just a better weapon all in all, so. Sorry, Diamond Sword has been fun, but I need my points back. So, um, we can either do Echo. Some of your attacks can be followed up by another attack in rapid succession. Sets mobs on fire for three seconds, dealing damage over time. Or Poison Cloud, which is has 30% chance to summon a Poison Cloud. I think we want to do Echo. That sounds good, and then we can do it again if we want. Um, sounds cool to me. Uh, very, very nice. So in the meantime, let's keep exploring. Can't wait to use this new weapon. This game is awesome. I'm just, I'm having so much fun. This is already definitely stacking up to be one of my favorite games of this year. We'll see how it continues as we play through the entire adventure. Let's get ya. Nice. And get these guys. Pretty cool. Oh, hey, 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 hold on, hold on now. I can get you a little bit from here, but not by too much. Whoa. Oh man, that hurt a bit, but that was still cool. Ah, I couldn't tell. I thought he was down there. That was a little confusing. There are a lot of buttons to hit, and getting used to that is just gonna take time. So that's the way I'm supposed to go. It can always tell me by the marker, so I just need to keep that in mind and go different directions. I hear something glowy. That usually is the sound of a chest, right? Yes, it is. I gotta learn that sound and keep an ear out for it. So we just got a scatter crossbow. Whoa, and this is better than our current bow and our other bow. So this is this crossbow modified to hold and fire multiple bolts is also a half decent musical instrument. <laughs> Interesting. Um, 23 times three range damage. So I guess it's gonna be using three arrows per shot, multiple projectiles. I think I might wanna try this before I recycle my old bow and arrow because that's a good one to have. So if I don't have to, I would like to avoid doing that, but I might have to. But if I do one shot, oh, actually no, it still only uses one arrow. Okay, then that means that this is definitely better. Definitely better. You're getting a three for one deal for every shot. I mean, obviously only one is, has the likelihood of landing, but if there's a big group around, especially for the slimes. Oh my gosh, it's so much better. Wow, okay, very good thing to have then. Any enemies around here? But how does that work with the fireworks? 
Whoops. Okay, hold on, hold on. But it will fire three fireworks every time then. That's a guarantee. Yeah, I think we're sticking with this one then. So we're going to go ahead and uh, salvage this and that. And we do have better daggers now, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that we just want to make some inventory space at this point. Very cool for sure though. Glad to have all that. So let's upgrade this a little bit. We have two points. So we can either do Radiant Shot, which is a 20% chance to spawn a circle area that heals allies. Accelerate, which makes it so that each attack is faster than the other, or Multi-Shot. Wow, okay, you know what? We're just gonna keep with that. And I don't have enough points to upgrade anything else, unless you can upgrade this stuff, which you can. Okay. Uh. So we're doing a great job exploring, but there's only, only one way to go for right now. Then let's get to it. Let's start exploring that area. Oh wow, it's crazy how quickly and how effectively we can upgrade our gear. I don't think there's any way I can heal our, our little pooch. Ah! <laughs> I didn't like that. It was just like, Arr! Scared me. Wow, that's such a huge range. For it being a melee weapon. Like, I'm going uphill with it too. Crazy cool. I think I hear a chest. Maybe, maybe not. Oh no. Uh, oh, that is great. Not too much more over this way though. So it wants me to be go back that way, which I will in time. Don't you worry. Nothing I can do here. Once again, there's no secrets in this in this level. That's what I'm trying to figure out, you know. Okay, if that's the way I'm supposed to go, then let's check this out. Because sometimes you can stand on these things and like something might move or something like that, but not this time. Okay, so what's going on here? We're still looking for the cauldron. This is a whole new area. So I guess we made a way out of that pretty well. So now that we're back out on the outside of the swamp. Oh, this, I think it fires six arrows there. Like I know it says five, but maybe it's more than that. It sort of looks like it. Okay, I need some help though. There we go, slicing and dicing that stuff. Uh, let's get you, get that potion. Wow, <laughs> that is so good. Who else is over here? Wow, okay, lots of people. Oh man. Oh no, oh no, don't get stuck. <laughs> Trying to preserve my health as much as possible. Not always easy, but we just gotta level up. We're level eight now. So cool, so that should mean I have uh, two points um, to upgrade into something. Not really sure what I want that to be just yet, but we'll figure it out. Can I attack the sign? No. <laughs> so back over this way. Um, oh, gotcha. There's not too much going on around here. Couple of zombies here and there, but nothing wild. Imagine if normal Minecraft had this many mobs running around at all times. That would be like super ultra difficulty mode. Of course, the game's just not balanced for that. Oh, there's a chest somewhere. Here it is. Whoa, it is some kind of evocation rope. Evocation? Evocation? I'm not really sure. Um, oh man, it's a firework show. July came early. There we go. Nice. So yeah, let's back it up a little bit. So I can take a look at this. These are better than what I currently have. And they're so fancy, look at our giant hat. I wanna see some of these make their way back to Minecraft, the main game. Um, but as you can see with this, evocation rope, 49 health, minus 25% artifact cooldown, which is amazing. Um, and plus 15% move speed aura. So if we really wanna like maximize things, what we could do is whenever we see a bundle of arrows, switch back to this so that we can get plus 10 arrows per bundle. Um, something to consider, but then I, I can't get that point out of there, but we'll, we'll keep it in mind. Um, we do get either electrified or surprise gift. I think that electrified would be a more uh, significant thing to get, so I will do that for right now. Wow, it looks so fancy. But yeah, I don't think it's worth it to get too attached to any one look because of how often our gear changes. I know in other games in this genre, like Torchlight and stuff, I think there's a way you can save the look of your gear so that you can use it and apply it over other gear, so you can always keep the look you want. Maybe that's something that'll pop up in this game at some point. Did that count as a chest? It didn't. Um, oh, I was supposed to do the thing where I switch over. I didn't do it. There's maybe a lot to keep in mind. Maybe not even necessary seeing how I have 243 arrows. Okay, keep it going. 
Very nice. Let's get you. Remember how large my range is. These guys are tough, though. Yeah, remember, I can electrocute like that. Thank you. And there's a chest and, whoa, what is with this chest? It has daggers, level 19. Is that better than what I currently have? It's not quite. Interesting. I will keep that in mind. It seems like a pretty powerful weapon, but right now, this unique Grave Bane seems to be even better. So you know what, I think I will go ahead and salvage this. So that'll give us two points, which will give us enough to upgrade something. We can either upgrade the Electrified, or I can upgrade the Multi-Shot. Let's do that. We have the more points and the farther we get, the more of a chance we can do things like that. So that's always super cool. So that has us up to five chests. Okay, I don't know where the fourth chest was. Oh no, the fourth chest, okay, now, now I remember. <laughs> it was the one we found that didn't have too much in it. Well, it had this these robes in it, so. I don't know why, I was thinking that was the third chest, but not quite. Got some apples, I don't quite need them. That will keep going. I love this, we got some like ancient ruins now. Isn't that cool? Gotcha. Oh, here's another chest. Don't quite know how to reach it, though. How do I get over there? Oh, oh, oh! Okay. Um. Where am I? I'm over here now. I'm a little turned around. So can I... Huh. Can I dodge over the water? That seems tough, but I'll try it again. And just, yeah, like that. Oh. Oh. Okay. Note taken. I will have to utilize that more in the future. And maybe that's how I can get to some more of these far, far off places. Anyways. Oh my gosh, Corrupted Cauldron, it's a boss fight. All right, let's go for it. We can actually attack the Cauldron like that. Let's call on our, our wolf friend. I don't know why he's not here. I guess he must have gotten taken out. I don't know what these are. They're like Corrupted. Okay. Oh man, oh man. Okay, that hurts. That really hurts. I gotta be careful. Definitely pick up that potion so we can get some health regeneration here. Um, Man, oh man. I gotta be real careful. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. But it keeps spawning in more and more stuff quite quickly. Wow, that definitely did a lot of damage. Get that bread. There we go. Okay, let's go for it a little bit with that. Oh man, but I'm so close to getting taken out. I gotta be really careful. Wow, this is insane. Get that strength potion. That'll be definitely helpful. Uh, call on the wolf again. There's a lot to multitask with here. And there's this stuff falling everywhere. Okay, that was good, but not as much as last time. Um, oh man, oh man. Come on, get it, get it, get it. I need to destroy the cauldron quick. There it is, we did it! Wow, that was cool. That was so much fun. All right, so our first like proper boss completed, except for the Enderman, but I don't know, I think this is something different. Soul Healer, heals the most injured ally nearby, including yourself. Three to 63 health healed, one second cooldown, Plus one soul gathering requires souls. The soul, what are what are souls though? Are they just like things you can get from enemies? I'm not sure. Um, the soul healer amulet is cold to the touch and resembles or trembles with the power of souls. It is a common among the illagers of the woodland mansion, mansions. Tempted, but what would I put it over, you know? I wanna keep my woof. I wanna keep uh, my boots. I'll hold on to it for now. We also have the evocation robe, um, two points higher than this one, so I might as well do that and salvage this for its points. And that's all we got from that, but that was still really cool. So we got to do burning, potion barrier, explorer. What is potion barrier? Whenever you use a healing potion, you take 90%, minus 90% damage for a short duration. That sounds good, especially for what we just survived. Snowball, fire a snowball at a nearby enemy every few seconds, briefly stunning it. Cowardice, while you are at full HP, you deal increased and ranged and melee damage. Huh, some really good stuff. I think I'm gonna keep with that for right now, but I can also do this one soon. I that are burning every 5.5 seconds, damages all enemies in melee range. Lots of cool upgrade options. That is for sure. I'm still looking, no, I got all six chests as well, so I think this level's properly complete. I can't believe it. 
And there we go, victory! This potion supply is no more, and it'll be a long time before the witches recover from this blow. Well done. So that was so cool. I love this so far. It's a lot of fun. So, Soggy Swamp is completed. We're level six. TNT used under level six for some reason. Is that a problem? I don't know. But we took 847 damage. We opened 100% of the chest. I missed 5% of the mobs, unfortunately, but we did over 23,000 damage. And let's see our reward. Oh, this is taking place in the room we can go into. Oh, we get our rare fishing rod. The trusted companion of any true adventure, the fishing rod is useful for more than just fishing. So there we go, we get an improved fishing rod, which means I can get rid of this one for 16. Um, so 1.8 seconds sun duration, five second cooldown. That's actually really good. That's a really long sun. So I will definitely keep that in mind. There's like too many good things to choose from. It gets a little crazy. Um, but yeah, it is awesome the progress we're making in the game now. I don't know if there's too much more we wanna do. I feel like I do have some extra time in today's episode, and I feel like if I wanna spend that in any which way, I wanna go back and collect what I missed, but I did notice that like, it's not like it's like, hey, here's all the different things you can get that you might have like, like all like, oh, you only got this many chests. So I think that getting all the chests is a little inconsequential. It just helps you get everything you could possibly get. So like, there's obviously different artifacts I can get here, but as we experienced with the creepy crypt in the creeper woods, um, there are other chances to get those items. So I could replay these levels. I don't know if it's worth doing, but I will definitely keep it in mind. Um, but what's interesting is I can like go here. Oh, and I can learn more about the story of each area. I should do that. Okay, so I never actually, yeah, let's let's do that then, right here. Um, Read the story of A Journey Begins. I didn't do this before, I'll do this now. I'm sorry I didn't. Um, a Journey Begins. The Arch Illager has come to power using the Orb of Dominance, turning the overworld upside down. This is for the Creeper Woods, by the way. I'm sure you can see. Uh, power is collecting in strange places. The undead are stronger and refuse to burn in the sunlight. And Illagers are raiding the countryside. So that's why we see mobs during the day in this game. The Illagers capture the defenseless villagers and move them east towards their mysterious base in the Redstone Mines. The first step in their ruthless journey starts by going through Creeper Woods, a mob-infested maze of tangled roots and branches. Move quickly if you wish to save the villagers from a terrible fate. So we've already done that one. Same thing with Creepy Crypt, the Forsaken Undercrow. A sprawling crypt lies deep below the forest floor where the illagers believe they can continue their wicked work undisturbed. Will you stop them or will you get lost in the dark? Which we didn't, we stopped them. And then finally we did Soggy Swamp today. Uh, a perilous potion. The witches of Soggy Swamp have polluted the land with their wicked brews. We can't let their potions fall into the hands of the arch illager who would surely use that power for no good. So if we wanna see what's going on in these other missions, we'll have to stay tuned because we'll be doing those in some upcoming episodes, but wow, how much fun was that? So of course, there are some higher difficulties here that we can eventually tackle if we feel up to it. Not really gonna do that for right now, but for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.